you just felt this, this something yanking you backwards. Next minute, you're on your back. There was just blood squirting all over. I am going to die tonight. I knew something's pulled me back. I didn't know what it was. I just thought I'd eat it. And then the kids sat on the veranda and said, no, 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 no. It was a cat. Then we knew it was a cat. To survive, I had to get to the veranda. Because he could come back. If I was on the ground, he would have just grabbed me by the neck. I had to get up and run. Otherwise, I wouldn't survive. I just saw the back of his head was flat open. They got to the Bay Hospital. The doctor was there waiting for them. Our minister was there waiting for him. He went into surgery. They had to clean his head and then um, stitch the skin back. And I was like, you couldn't believe it had happened. It just, you couldn't believe what had happened. It wasn't real. It wasn't real that he'd been attacked. I think Peter was lucky. If he hadn't gone forward, the leopard would have caught him in the face. They pull the head back and they bite. And that's obviously what he was trying to do. He was trying to pull my dad's head back and bite. But how? How on earth did he get up? How did it not attack him again? Oh, it's just amazing.